What's up everyone, happy Fast X premiere week. We're only three days away from the next Fast and Furious movie and I cannot wait to see what car tricks they pull off next. I'm Stella Chung filling in for Akeem and in today's movie news, Zelda devs are interested in a Zelda movie, casting rumors are flying for Superman Legacy and Beetlejuice 2 just got another great actor. Let's do this. Tears of the Kingdom producer Eiji Aonuma and director Hidemaru Fujibayashi have shared that they are interested in a film adaptation of The Legend of Zelda, especially after the incredible success of the Super Mario Bros. movie. The pair were posed the question by Polygon, and while they confirmed there definitely is interest, it's ultimately not up to just them. Aonuma said, I have to say I am interested, for sure, but it's not just me being interested in something that makes things happen, unfortunately. Fujibayashi added, maybe the voice of the fans is what's important here. It's easy to see why the prospect of a movie based on The Legend of Zelda is an enticing one for them, as the Super Mario Bros. movie recently became just the 10th animated film to ever cross $1 billion at the global box office. Oh, and just speaking of the Super Mario Bros. movie, it hits digital platforms tomorrow, May 16th. Movie or not, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is finally out in the world and is one of the greatest reviewed games of all time and is sitting at a 96 on Metacritic. Moving on, James Gunn has responded to reports and actors reportedly up for big roles in Superman Legacy. According to The Hollywood Reporter, cast contenders include Nicholas Holt, David Cornsweet, Rachel Brosnahan, and more. But Gunn says he would never comment on who is or isn't auditioning and that only one person has been cast in the film so far. Corn Sweat is set to be one of the top contenders to play Clark Kent himself. His acting credits include The Projectionist in Pearl and David McDougall in We Own the City. THR sources claim he advanced to the screen test stage that looks to take place after Memorial Day or in early June. Another actor of note is Nicholas Holt, who THR says may be up for the role of Lex Luthor. However, Deadline is reporting Holt is actually up for the role of Kent himself. For those who may not remember, Holt was a leading candidate to play Batman in Matt Reeves' The Batman before Robert Pattinson won the role. He already has comic book movie experience, having played Beast in the X-Men, first class era of movies. Deadline also states its sources claim Gunn is checking with A-list names he's worked with in the past for the role of Lex Luthor, and that the part has been labeled Apex, which could be a reference to the super-powered Apex Lex Luthor from the comics. There are reportedly a few choices in the running for Lois Lane, and they include Sex Education's Emma Mackey, The Marvelous Miss Maisel's Rachel Brosnahan, Bridgerton's Phoebe Denover, and Scream 6's Samara Weaving. Gunn, who is no stranger to responding directly to these types of reports and rumors on Twitter, responded to these articles with, quote, For all of you asking, I would never comment on who is or isn't auditioning for a role. That's the actor's business only and isn't something I'd make public unless they did it first after the fact. For now, only one person has been cast in Superman Legacy, and it isn't any of the regular players in the Superman world. Superman Legacy is currently scheduled for a 2025 release. And finally today, Willem Dafoe is the latest to sign on for Beetlejuice 2. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Dafoe will play a law enforcement officer in the afterlife. Dafoe joins Jenna Ortega, Michael Keaton, and Winona Ryder, the latter two reprising their roles from the first movie. Ortega, meanwhile, is reported to play the daughter of Ryder's character. Catherine O'Hara is also returning from the original. Justin Thoreau and Monica Bellucci have reportedly been cast as well. Tim Burton is returning to direct and plot details are being kept under wraps currently. Production for Beetlejuice 2 is expected to begin this month. The sequel is set to appear in theaters on September 6, 2024, which is the same day Marvel is expected to release its Blade reboot. There is a chance, however, that Disney delays the release date for Blade, as last week we learned that pre-production has paused again, this time due to the ongoing writer strike that is affecting tons of projects across the big and small screen. And that's your entertainment fix for Monday, May 15th. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our video on the best moments from the Fast and Furious franchise. I'm Stella Chung, and for all of your movie and streaming news, stay tuned to IGN.